All right, Fresh Ghost Gaming fans, part two of our double header tonight. I am officially breaking out my new sixth edition Eldar. I'm going to be getting in a game against Scott and his lovely painted uh, pseudo ultramarines. So let's take a look and see what uh, what new toys I get to play with today. All right, we're going to be playing 1,500 points today. Uh, just a small, quick game because it's getting kind of late in the night. Um, my two HQ choices. I have two spirits here, so they're going to be uh, proxied by the two warlocks in front. And they're each going to be leading a five-man group of Wraith Guard. Uh, this group, with my uh, general, uh, the general has the uh, um, the Phoenix Stone so he can resurrect himself. These guys all have the D-sides, and these guys have the regular D-cannons. They are going to be in Wave Serpents with uh, Twinling Bright Lances, Shuriken Cannons on that one. Both have Spirit Stones. We have a ten-man squad of Rangers. Five uh, Warp Spiders. The Exarch has Fast Shot, Marksman's Eye, and the Spinneret Rifle. Um, I'm hoping to be able to snipe out some characters with him. And I have three Warwalkers. The the two on the outsides are how they're actually armed. Uh, they are double sh uh, scatter lasers on all of them. And then, of course, the big nasty Wraith, uh, the Wraith Knight with the, the two D cannons. All right, 1,500 points. Uh, we'll do psychic powers uh, during deployment. Let's see what Scott has brought. All right, here we have Scott's uh, pseudo ultramarines. Uh, blue and red paint scheme, they're very, very meticulously well painted. Uh, they're going to be led by a chaplain, Digi Weapons. I apologize for not having a fully painted Terminator, so he's working on them still. You know, we kind of sidetracked him with uh, Infinity. Um, Scott is a very meticulous painter, like I said, so it takes him a while to get moving. But when he does, the results are spectacular. Uh, five man Terminator squad, shooty Terminator's assault cannon, Thunderfire cannon, uh, Dreadnought with multi melta. We got a tactical squad with a heavy bolter, uh, flamer, and power fist. Another tack squad with multi melta, melty gun, and power fist. Land Raider with extra armor, uh, Rhino with extra armor, and a Vindicator. Lots and lots of shooty as well. So let's take a look at, uh, well, we'll come back after deployment, mission, psychic powers, and all that fun stuff. All right, here we are after deployment. I have my two wave serpents castled up around my Wraith Knight with my warp spiders in front. My pathfinder, or excuse me, my rangers, I got to used to remind, remembering that they're rangers, not pathfinders anymore, um, are taking up cover in the building. War walkers uh, deployed over here on the flank, and then Scott moved over a little bit. And uh, Scott's got a, a combat squad there in the building. Terminator's right there. Some vehicles over here. His Land Raider with a, a combat squad is in reserve. He doesn't want it to get shot in the first turn. Uh, as far as Warlord traits, I have the uh, the Eldar trait, which allows me to reroll ones uh, to wound on either my shooting or assault phase. Um, I also roll uh, I roll Destructor and en Enhancement for both my uh, my Spirit Seers, one and three on each guy, and I took the Primaris power on both to give them Conceal. So that's handy. And uh, Scott's Warlord trait is the one that gives me a minus two reserve, which is why I have nothing on, yeah, nothing in reserve. Everything is on the table. I have first turn unless Scott wants to seize. Uh, we will turn back in after the top of one. All right, my first turn, um, I move forward. The Warp Spiders got their great jump. They ended up at the uh, edge of the bridge here. Uh, everything else moved out. The uh, Wave Serpents closed on the vehicles over here. The Wraith Knight jumped over towards the vehicles. The War Walkers did the same. Um, but I managed to do nothing. I missed with all my Bright Lances. Uh, I failed to pen with anything. The Wraith Knight missed with both his shots. The Warp, uh, the warp Spiders managed to kill a Terminator. The Rangers managed to kill a couple. Uh, the War Walkers killed one. Uh, what else killed some Terminators? I think, uh, oh, a Bright Lance killed one. Not a whole lot. Uh, uh, Scott is down to one single Terminator and the Chaplain who's untouched. And everything else is just fine. So we're going to move into the bottom of turn one and see what Scott does to return some fire. Bottom of turn one, uh, Scott's armor advanced forward here. Um, the Vindicator and the Dreadnought both took a hull point off the Wave Serpent thanks to the Serpent Fields. The uh, Marines jumped out, got under cover, and uh, snapshot the Baltic Melta and missed. Terminator and the Chaplain killed one of the Warp Spiders. And the Marines here in the ruins managed to kill one of my, path or one of my Rangers, and that's it. We're going to move into turn two now and see what else I can do. All right, this Eldar mobility is really uh, getting me happy. Um, the Wraith Knight jumped into the river, took a wound from dangerous terrain, but managed to blow up the Dreadnought with one of the Wraith Cannons. Uh, the Warp Spiders uh, did their warp jump forward, shot at the Terminators, killed the, the last of the Terminators, and then uh, did their jump uh, assault move back. Battle Focus is great for getting those guys in position, as well as getting the, the uh, Warwalkers in position. I can only see the three Marines through the doorway right there. 
but they all made their cover saves. They went to ground though. So they are down. The wave serpent here. Um, I don't know. You know don't, I don't even remember if it shot at anything, frankly. I don't think it did. I think that wave serpent didn't shoot at anything. Um, the snipers managed to kill off the chaplain, so I got first blood and slay the warlord all in the same turn. I'm going to move on now to turn bottom of two and see if Scott's reserves show up. All right, Scott's turn two. The uh, Land Raider comes on with its tactical squad inside. The Last Cannon's multi gun or multi melta heavy bolts are all fire at the Wraith Knight. Managed to take a wound off with the Last Cannon. Two melta gunners from the uh, Rhino right here took a shot and took another wound off him, but he's still kicking. Over here, the uh, um, the Vindicator shot its, its shell at the Wraith Knight also. It scattered and landed on the Wave Serpent. Uh, made my serpent field roll and uh, took a glance. I actually forgot to roll the uh, the jinx saves on the from the first turn shot, so we 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 rolled those right after uh, Scott's turn ended, and I I made both of them. So there's only one hull point missing off that wave serpent. Um, over here, the marines shot at and then tried to assault the, the warp spiders. I killed two on Overwatch with rending shots, and they failed their uh, the assault roll. Over here, uh, the heavy bolter and the bolters in the ruins snap fired at the war walkers. Hit uh, with one heavy bolter, but failed to penetrate, and that's it. Thunderfire cannon is still in reserve, so we're going to move into top of, top of turn three. Uh, I have everything kind of waltzing this way. This wave serpent shot its serpent field and everything into the marines over there. Managed to kill a, a couple of them. I'm sorry, it only killed one. The snipers killed another. They failed their pinning check, so they are pinned. Um, the uh, war walkers are shuffling down the river. Shoot, they actually shot through cover over here at the rhino side armor. Managed to wreck it. Uh, did five glances and three pens, I think. It made a bunch of the cover saves, but not enough. The Marines piled out and back, but Scott was smart. He put them where I couldn't see them with my d of the equipped uh, Wraith Guard. So they just turned and shot the Vindicator along with the Wave Serpent over here. Uh, I managed the Wave Serpent blew off its Vindicator or Demolisher Cannon, and the Deep Sides finished it off. Uh, the Wraith Knight blew off the Multi Melt on the Land Raider and failed its assault roll. The Warp Spiders. And we're back here, shot at, killed one of the marines. They chose to fail their test, uh, so I had nothing to assault. They just jumped into the building for some cover. And that's it. And because my Wraith Knight has got his tiny little toe in the cover, he's going to get a cover save for next turn. Moving into bottom of three. All right, bottom of three. Scott's uh, counterattack, a little bit more effective. Uh, he managed to kill all the Wraith Guard in that unit, but not touch my spirits here. Um, and then over here took all but one wound off my Wraith Knight with uh, some shooting and assaulting in uh, with his powerful sergeant in close combat. The sergeant just managed to get one hit. But uh, I won combat, broke him, but their Marines, of course, they don't go anywhere, so we're just stuck. Which is good, because I'm still initiative five. But we're gonna move now into top of four. There is an awful lot of yellow on Scott's side of the table in uh, top of turn four. Wraith Knight is still stuck in combat with the sergeant. He killed two more of the Marines and the sergeant failed to, to hit him. I uh, stripped a hull point off with uh, the Bright Lance over there. The Wraith, Lord over here, Wraith Guard over here jumped out, shot, but he made all his cover saves. Uh, managed to take out the Heavy Bolter guy with a sniper round, though, from the, the Rangers. War Walkers uh, ran up, used Battle Focus, eliminated the squad that was right there through cover. And the Warp Spiders finished off those last two Marines there, and they also jumped over here just to give myself a nice field of, uh, field of fire for when that Thunderfire Cannon comes on in the, the uh, bottom of turn four. So let's go there. All right, Scott got kind of lucky this turn. Land Raider pivoted uh, and shot, uh, split some fire between my War Walkers, and took a hull point off the nearest one, and killed uh, two of my Warp Spiders with the Tech Marine who decided to show up. Um, over here, his Marines assaulted through the cover and managed to uh, latch a crack grenade on the back of the Wave Serpent and stun it. Lost a hull point, but I made my Spirit Stone safe. But over here is where I'm disappointed. The Wraith Knight failed to kill the Sergeant, and the Sergeant, in return, failed to kill the Wraith Knight, so that combat is gonna keep going on. That Sergeant should get promoted, just for surviving this long. Moving now into turn five. All right, here's all of turn five and one. Um, the Wraith Guard over here killed the, uh, the Marines, uh, finished them off. I managed to knock a last cannon off and drop it down to one hull point left with just this last cannon and the heavy bolter from both the Wave Serpents, but it was still kicking. Um, the best part, though, in combat, that Wraith Knight, uh, again, only hit one time and rolled another one to fail to wound the, uh, the Marine Sergeant. But the Marine Sergeant failed to hit the Wraith Knight completely. So we went, in, went into the bottom of turn five. Uh, Scott took out a couple of my Wraith Guard just in spite because I left the, my, their Spirit Seer nearby. He was trying to, to snipe him with some last cannon shots, but I made my lookout, Sir so Rolls. And then, finally, the Wraith Knight managed to squish the Valiant Sergeant. 
but um, overall I'm very impressed with the way some of the uh, the new Eldar rules are working out. Um, in particular, Battle Focus is a nasty, nasty rule, allowing me to reposition everything. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, my Warp, uh, my warp Spider Exarch was uh, going to try to jump into combat to help the, the Wraith Knight out. Rolled the double ones on his Warp Jump Generator and killed himself. So, uh, final victory point total, uh, I have no idea. I'll put it in the uh, I'll put it in the in the credits here in the video. We'll total up because it is 10:04. We're past closing time, so we got to get out of here. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we hope to have a lot more bat reps on a much more regular basis again.